guys. Titan here from Off Tap Brewing. Welcome back to the beginner series Sexing Up Your Kits. Now, we've talked about alcohol, reducing your water, adding more dextrose or more fermentables to your wort. Now we're going to add the hops. My beer is currently about 1018, 1017. I just checked it just then. So I'm happy to sir, throw these in and um, you know let it sit for another four or five days. I'll get a little container just so we can see what the hot pellets look like. Now this is 50 grams of Amarillo. And I hope you can see that. That's what a hot pellet looks like. Little green rabbit poo. Okay, and all I'm going to do with those straight in. Close the lid up again. And that'll be that for the next four or five days or till when it gets down to a decent level. Now recapping on the reason why I waited till you know fermentation was really low and slow. It's because I don't want the CO2 or um, the, ac the activity of the yeast to push out the aroma and drive it off out your little bubbler. I also don't want the Kreuzen pushing all the hop pellets along the side of the fermenter. I want all the hops to do their job the way they're supposed to do. Well, they're supposed to do it in the other. Now, there are other ways of, of adding hops. I could have boiled my kettle, put that 50 grams into a cup, and poured boiling water straight over them, and let that sit for three or four minutes. And I could have poured that in. That's what they call a hop tea. Um, I could have put some water on the stove. I could have boiled the hops for 10 minutes, same sort of, sort of thing. That is also a hop tea, but you're releasing more of the aromas. This will do a fabulous job. Um, I've done the hop tea, I've done the boiling for 10 minutes and added it all in, and quite frankly, I really haven't noticed much of a difference. Just add them in and off you go. That works for me. You have to find what works for you. Okay, other things you can buy. From, from the home brew store, uh, here, especially here in Australia, we can get um, little hop tea bags, and they're 12 grams, and they're quite expensive. Like that that bag there of Amarillo, 50 grams, I think set me back seven dollars or something. And for 50 grams, that's just ludicrous. <laughs> that, that really is just ludicrous. Yeah, but um, you know, it was there and. I was there, so I've never tried Amarillo, so I picked it up. I've got a fridge full of hops, but none of them are Amarillo. Um, yeah, so the hop tea bag, they're about $4.50 for 12 grams. So, you know, $3 off and nearly 90% of the product gone. So, you know, you've got to work out what's more, more beneficial for you. I recommend when you're starting out to buy a little bag of hops, $7, $8, even go and buy a 90 gram bag for $10. Chuck some in, you've got enough for four brews there. Or you might chuck some in and go, hmm, next time I definitely want to um, experience more of that. So I'm going to go the rest of it, or I'm going to go at least double what I went last time. But I, I recommend starting off with about 25 grams and then working it up. Uh, a lot of people just, just are happy with the 12 gram tea bags. Um, you do get a lot of aroma out of them, depending on what it is. And a lot of home brew stores, actually, especially around here, um, have 
uh, recipes for cloning where you buy this kit and it might be, um, I don't know, a Tui's special lager. And then you add a 12 gram packet of, of Pride of Ringwood and then you also add um, a Cooper's number no. 2 blend. You know, and that'll give you, a, you know, some sort of beer. I don't know. Um, they do have recipes like that. Yeah. They don't clone very well, but they do make a nice beer. Like, there was a brand here called, um... Oh, Australian Gold or something? Aussie Gold? Australia Gold? Australian Gold? Which was supposed to be like a 4X Gold clone sort of beer. Uh, no, Australia 3.5 it was called. Aussie 3.5. Something like that. Anyhow, I used to get that, and I used to add cluster hops, which was the same hops as the Forex brewery use. And it would come out as really, really nice beer. Better than Forex gold. Um, you know, so a really nice clone. Okay, guys. <coughs> this will be the end of the video series. I've already done a bottling video. So this will be the last of the Sex and Gutman kits. I've just added the dry hop edition. I've added extra alcohol. We've got a really nice beer coming along here. Remember, it is out of balance. We've got more alcohol than what the beer was designed to have. It's going to be thin. Well, thinner than the first one I did because it's going to have more alcohol. It's going to be less bitter, sorry. And, um, yeah, it's just going to be really different. And now that I've added all that Amarillo, it's not going to matter because it's a completely different beer anyhow now. So, that's awesome stuff. In the next series of this Sexing Up Your Kit, I will do a tasting of this, um, as I did the first one. And the first one's coming on really well. I, I must say, I'm, I'm having trouble staying away from it. This isn't it. This is a, a, a recipe of mine. I think it's 8%, 8.5%, something like that. Whew. Beautiful stuff. But, um, the next, the next, um, video I'm planning on doing in the sexing up your kit is a toucan special. So I'm going to still stick with the hopped extract kits, but this time I'm going to add two cans of the same kit, plus extra dextrose, plus I'll be dry hopping it. So, and I'll explain what you can do um, when you do those sorts of things. Um, different ways you get unmold, unhopped malt extract and a, and a tin, and then dextrose, and you can add them all in. There's, there's ways ways of doing two cans, but I'm going to do a two can uh, hopped kit with um, probably yeah, I'll probably just use uh, a kilo of dextrose in it, and then I'm going to dry hop it again, like I did this one. But I'm just going to show you. Um, you know, but you can use more than just one tin and do, you can do it how you want to do it. I mean, it's all up to you. As I said previously in, in other videos, as long as you get a drinkable product at the end, that's all that matters. You don't have to impress the guy across the road. You don't have to impress your boss. You don't have to impress your mates. As long as you've got a drinkable product at the end of the day, you've saved money and you've brewed beer. So that's what's, that's what's got to count. You know, guys, um... And then after I do the toucan special, then I'm going to get into uh, steeping grains. And then I'm going to do a couple of, um, I won't be mixing or anything. I'll still be using the Black Rock um, IPA. So I'm sticking with that one all the way through. So we've got our base and we're working, we're running off that. The next one will be, um, um, yeah, after the toucans, we'll be using steeping grains. And dry hopping. So we're sticking with the dry hopping now. We're sticking with the adding extra alcohol and dry hopping. So we'll just take these things on as we go. And then after that, toucan, steeping grains. Then we're going to design a recipe. And do it on the stove with unhopped malt extract. Like this goo. We're going to use that and boil that for an hour. We'll use a couple of them though. And some water um, and boil that for for like an hour so and we'll design our recipe so yeah okay guys uh, thanks for that I might as well show you what's going on in here it's going nuts because of the um, the hops I've added they'll be um, they'll be floating around 
giving giving the CO2 a bit of a bit of a um oh wow that's really nice okay guys let's have a look at this that smells awesome look at that there's my little hydrometer over there in the background you can see some of the hops haven't gone in yet but oh wow the aroma coming off that the aroma coming off that guys it's unbelievable oh, maybe I should have taken you off there <laughs> but as I've, as I've heard many home brewers or YouTubers say I wish we had smell vision that is awesome. I'm impressed with that. That is going to be a really, really nice beer. Hmm. Okay, guys. That's it for me. I've got to go and uh, watch some TV and drink some more beer, I think. Okay, guys. Remember, it makes you smarter.